Do you actually understand football? Ah, you must be a lesbian. Look at what the Women's World Cup has done to girls these days. I'm a little bit of a hooligan. When City won the league in 2012, that was literally the best day of my life. Last season under Sam Allardyce, um, a few expletives did leave my mouth. When it goes to penalties, I don't, I can't function. I can't even breathe. I can't even look at the screens. Out of all my female friends don't like football. Um, they do find it a bit odd. I'll cancel plans with them or say I can't go to their birthday because there'll be a football game on. I don't think they quite understand that it's like my biggest priority. People are always su quite surprised when you tell them that you like football, um, especially men or old women. Who's your favourite player? Is it because he's good looking? No, he's just good. The most annoying thing is that guys have a thing, I've been dragged along for a day or I'm looking for a day. The worst one I hear is when people say, you're only saying that to impress him. No, you're all right, mate. I'm just here for the game. Say if I've put a picture of myself in the Everton kit before the game and, you know, it's had a few likes and whatever, there'll always be someone commenting and saying, what's this girl got to do with Everton? And I just reply and say, I'm an Evertonian, Chris, honey. Is that OK? And then put the little emoji with the kisses. The one you get a lot is the typical get back in the kitchen. Every now and then you will hear it. Oh, do you even know the offside rule? And I think to myself, oh, gosh, so 2002. Not only do we probably know just as much as they do, but we can probably give them a good one on the pitch as well. The good thing about supporting a, a little local team is that you know ev basically everyone there, you know, you go, you go and watch every season. When I grew up, City were absolutely useless. So the first game I ever went to, I think, was League Two and they were playing Swindon and we lost. Tottenham 2001. One or two Worthington Cup final against Blackburn Rovers. We had the whole house kitted out with Spurs flags. I was in the full kit. As I was leaving the game, a man actually came up to me and gave me a Mars bar. And he said, it's not always this bad. And ever since then, I've never looked back. Spurs lost, crying at the end of it. I turned around to my dad and I was like, what, what's just happened? He said, this is how it always is for Tottenham. You know, some of my dearest friends and dearest relationships that I have in my life stem from Everton Football Club. There was actually a man that used to carry a little baby around with him and everyone in the stand made a chant for him every game when he was walking around the stadium to, to put his baby to sleep. I've dated guys where we've gone to watch football together and it's been great, uh, but it can go the other way. I was dating a guy um, from my gym and he messaged me after City lost the derby to United and he messaged me within about half an hour and we've not spoken since. Mm -hmm.